Rare earth elements. We're going to talk about how China is withholding some of the supply of that to the rest of the world and how that was only a matter of time. Also, we're going to talk about the only major economy that is still seeing rising inflation. This is from CNBC. Britain is now the only major economy where inflation is still rising. You guys heard a lot about how inflation was going to go wild, how it's going to go so much higher. And I was one of the guys telling you it was going to go the exact opposite way. Based on my understanding and my outlook, I expected that inflation would come down. Once it starts coming down, it usually comes down pretty quickly. And you can see here it's a five-year chart of inflation. Here's a 10-year chart of inflation. You can see the trend. And now you're going to recognize that not only are prices starting to come down, but also that a lot of people were looking the wrong way this whole time. Inflation will become extreme again, just like I told you about with the big inflationary bounce. But some things have to happen first. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development said Tuesday that year-on-year -year inflation in the G7 fell to 4.6% in May, down from 5.4%, reaching its lowest level since September 2021. The downward trend was observed across most advanced economies in May, with annualized inflation ticking lower in the U.S., Canada, France, Germany, Italy, and Japan. Britain, however, was found to be an outlier. It comes as major central banks start to consider bringing their aggressive interest rate hikes to an end as prices cool, even as inflation remains elevated. Exactly. The inflation is still elevated because it went up so much and now it's starting to come down. But there's still inflation, but the interest rate hikes are starting to have their effect now. As I told you, year-on-year -year inflation is measured by the Consumer Price Index, slowed markedly to 6.5% in May, down from 7.4% in April. That's in the United Kingdom. It means that headline inflation in the OECD is now at its lowest level since December 2021. Across all OECD countries, the group said inflation rates ranged from less than 3% in Costa Rica, Greece, and Denmark to more than 20% in Hungary and Turkey. Will inflation continue to decline? Yes, it will. This is when the interest rate hikes are starting to take their biggest bite and it's going to really keep pushing momentum down for inflation prices. The one thing that was stubborn, a couple of things were the rent prices and food prices, but that is also just a matter of time until it all starts coming down together. And this was a matter of time. China has the majority of all the world's rare earth elements, and they're used in a bunch of things I'll show you about in this video in just a second. But these are very specific minerals that can only be used sometimes in certain applications. They're very rare, as the name suggests and now china is weaponizing them and you can see that in this article from this one is also from cnbc permission may be required for exports of some gallium and germanium compounds starting august 1st china's commerce ministry said in a statement late monday this move is part of the intensifying global battle for technological supremacy with china as the world's source of both metals talking about the gallium and germanium according to the European Union study on critical raw materials this year. These new regulations, imposed on the grounds of national security, will require exporters to seek a license to ship some gallium and germanium compounds starting August 1st. This is all theatrics, though. There are so many rare earth element metals that China has the monopoly on, and they're starting to play games saying, well, with gallium, with this, you have to get a license and that's how it starts and soon it'll be a lot more as well and as you can see when i go through some of these rare earth elements and what they do they're very valuable very important to the world's industrial uses but expect more limitations like this this is part of the the trade war that's going on and also part of the potential that we are nearing a actual hot war with china this is part of the games they're going to play and is it a national security threat for them to export these minerals. It's the same thing we're doing to China where we're worried about them stealing our technology. They're worried about us using the minerals that they export for means that will be bad for them. And this is from Wikipedia, rare earth elements. I want to show you this because they have a really good chart of what the rare earth elements are used for. Scandium, for example, are used in aerospace components, additive and metal halide lamps, and mercury vapor lamps. Also used as a radioactive tracing agent in oil refineries. But look at all these other ones here. Europium is used in lasers, mercury vapor lasers, fluorescent lamps. NMR relaxation agent. I don't know what that means. 
gadolinium. There's some of this inside my system right now. You get that as a contrast dye for MRIs. And when I found out how much gadolinium was in my system, I spent a lot of time getting chelation treatments to pull out all these heavy metals out of my body. Terbium, additive and neodymium-based magnets, green phosphorus, lasers, fluorescent lamps, naval sonar systems. In a lot of these cases, there could be other metals or other things used to achieve the same ends. But in a lot of these cases, it's the perfect element they need for that particular application. So, if you don't have the rare earth element, the specific one, does that mean you cannot do those things? Sometimes yes, often no. There's other metals that will have the same properties close enough that will be able to make that product viable. But we don't have a lot of rare earth element mining and production capabilities. Compared to China, the rest of the world is far, far behind what China's got going on there. Here's a map of North America showing you some of the mines that we have where we are pulling rare earth elements out of them. And you don't have a mine specifically for erbium or homium or samarium or prothemium. There's not a mine that's just a prothemium mine. Generally, you'll find little traces of rare earth elements within all the other rocks that you're mining in that mine. Kind of like silver. You don't often get a silver specific mine. You get a mine that's digging up a lot of rock and in that they'll find gold, they'll find silver, they'll find rhodium. And while this map looks like there's a lot of rare earth elements everywhere, it's very misleading because it's just showing you where the mines are. It's not showing you the amount of the rare earth element that they're extracting. You want rare earth elements? You look here. 